Welcome back to day three of Sourdough Starter. I must say, my, I keep my kitchen, I actually keep the whole house kind of on the chilly side, like around 66 degrees. And the perfect temperature to do starter is 70 degrees. So having said that, it probably could be coming up a little bit faster than it is. But I let this go an extra hour or so today. Anyway, what we're going to do today is mix up the starter with 4.5 ounces of flour and 4 ounces of water. And we're going to discard half of this or give it away. Now, what I'm going to do is cut this starter in half. I'm going to keep half, get another brew going, or if you know I pass somebody in the street, then I will give them half if they want to keep it going. So having said that, here we go. I'm going to start with the bread because that is the least flavorful of all these. And to find out where half is, I've got my bowl on the scale and I'm going to weigh it and then just take out 50% of the dough. We're going to take out half of that. And this could get a little tricky, but... That's a good way to do it. Now, I'm going to add four ounces of water. And now, bread flour that I've already pre-weighed. And then, we're going to mix this up. Now, when you're mixing the flours, with water. Make sure you're using some kind of filtered water, distilled water, or something that clean that's clean, not the chemicalized city water. I have a ProPure gravity fed water filter that takes pretty much all the contaminants out and I really love it because my water tastes like nothing. Having said that, you want to keep this as chemical free as possible because you want the natural bacteria to interact with the flowers. Anyway, kind of important, actually really important. So get yourself some extra filtered water or distilled water. Um, I'm not sure that the Brita filters and all that are the same. So do yourself a favor, as long as you're going to the effort, go the complete effort. All right. That's nicely mixed. That's going to go in. You can see it's really coming to life now. And this should be at the same level that we marked yesterday, which it is. I'm going to do the rye flour next. So no more pineapple juice mixed in and no more rye flour mixed in. Now you're just going to use bread flour or wheat flour works really well too. I think it's going to give you a better flavor. Um, what I had to do with the rye starter, it should be wheat flour or it should be just bread flour of which I didn't have any more. So I'm adding some whole wheat flour that I bought that's already ground. This, I'm not sure if, how easily available it is, but the protein's 14%, which is, you know, actually a little bit higher than bread flour. This is mixed in really well. You can really see this coming to life. It just has a lot of spring in it. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's not just a blob of you know, dead dough with no life. You can see it coming to life. So now this goes back in. Before I grind the wheat berries, I'm going to put this in the bowl. Take out half. I'm going to weigh the water out four ounces. Now I've already weighed the wheat berries even though it calls for a cup since these are the berries and they haven't been ground yet. It is four and a half ounces. Uh, 
fresh milled flour that's hard red spring wheat so that will have pretty much almost the same protein content as that whole wheat flour or bread flour bread flour might be a little bit less like 13.7 or something but not that much and we're going to mix that up and then this is going to go to the same container and again it should be the same level this is very easy I hope you're trying it follow along and I'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching